Welcome to Nafi Paints, and in this video I'll be showing you how to make some broken road bases. Let's crack in. The basic materials you need to make these bases are your bases, some corkboard, some plastic card piping, and some Tamiya soil effect. First I've cut the corkboard into some strips, slightly wider than the bases, place the base down, and then cut it into a little square. To form the cracks in the corkboard, I've just placed it on the base and carefully just split the corkboard into random cracks and shapes. Once I was happy with the placement of the cracks on the base, I've just used a hobby knife just to chip away some of the corkboard just to leave little divots and holes representing battle damage from grenades or rockets or whatnot. With the little flakes of corkboard that came out when I dug the holes, I've put those aside to use later on the bases. Using the Tamiya soil effect, I've smeared some of it onto the base using the spatula supplied. I've just smeared this onto the base to cover the entire base. The only thing I had to think about when applying the soil effect to the base was how thick I wanted it to be under the road. Once I was happy with the thickness, I've placed the corkboard on top. With the pipes, I've just cut a couple of little pieces from the plastic card piping. I've just pushed a little hole into the base where I want it to be positioned. Once I was happy with the position, I've placed a little bit of PVA glue around the pipe and pushed that in to dry. Using a toothpick and some soil effect, I've just moulded it around the piping and around the bottom of the corkboard. When this dries, this will help strengthen the base and keep it together. With some PVA glue using a toothpick to apply it, I've put some PVA glue on the base in random areas and using the cork from the divots from earlier, I've sprinkled that over the areas with the PVA glue. When this dries, this will represent bits of the asphalt and the gravel from the road. Just to make sure the cork and the soil effect don't break off in the future, I've put a bit of PVA glue around the base and just with the toothpick again, just mix that in and then left the bases to dry. Using PVA glue and water, I've made myself a little mix. It's around 50-50 and with a paintbrush, I've applied this to all the cork areas of the base. This is just to help strengthen the cork, but not to be too thick as to take out the detail of the cork. Once I applied this wash, I'll let the bases dry thoroughly. With the bases dry, I've given them an undercoat of Abaddon Black from Citadel through an airbrush. For the first coat of brown for the dirt, I've gone with Flat Brown from Vallejo and I've put this on with two thin coats with a little water. For the first coat of the asphalt, I've gone with Dark Stone from the Army Painter. I've mixed a little water with the paint and I've applied it to the base with two coats. With the Dark Stone down now, I've gone back to the brown and this is Agrax Earthshade from Citadel. And I've given all the brown areas a wash with Agrax Air Shade. This is straight from the pot. I didn't worry too much here about pooling as they're going on bases. With the piping, I've given it a coat of Lead Belcher from Citadel. With the asphalt, I've gone with an 80-20 mix of known oil from Citadel and just water. 
and I've applied this wash over all the areas of the asphalt trying to avoid the brown but if it did get on the brown I wasn't too fussed as we can fix it up later with dry brushing and pigments. With the two washes applied now it's time to give the bases a dry brush. For the brown I've dry brushed all those areas with Monster Brown from the Army Painter. And for the asphalt areas, I've given it a coat of the dark stone that I used earlier. Using some hobby tape, I've put down two strips. I haven't bothered to measure how far apart they are, I just went by eye. When I was happy with the thickness of the tape, I've done it with all four bases. And this will make painting the white lines a lot easier than doing it freehand. Using White Sky from Citadel, I've wiped off a lot of the paint onto a paper towel and I've just dabbed it onto the area between the tape, trying to avoid any of the built up rubble areas. I went over the white areas a few times just to build up the white paint until I was happy. It's a really easy and effective technique. With the white paint dry, I removed the tape and was left with nice white lines. Now it's time to apply the pigments to the base, but before doing so, I've got four little metal paint wells here. In each paint well, I've put five drops of pigment binder from Vallejo. The four pigments from right to left are Russian Earth from Meek, Dark Earth from Meek, Desert Dust from Vallejo, and Light Yellow Ochre from Vallejo. I've mixed the pigment binder and the pigment together until I've got like a nice even paste. With the four pigments, I've applied random amounts to each base. Once I was happy with the amount of that color I put down, I've moved on to the next and so on and so forth until I've gone through all four colors. I let the pigment dry thoroughly to see what result I had. If I wasn't happy with the amount of pigment I had in a certain area, I just went back and applied more of one of the pigments to that area. With some hobby tufts, I've dry fitted them first. Once I was happy with the position, I placed some PVA glue on the bottom and pushed them into place. The 
final step of the bases is to paint the rim with the pattern black. And here they are, ready to be mounted with the model. Thanks for watching Nafi Paints. If you liked the video, please click the sub button or leave me a like. If there's anything you'd like to see in a future video, please leave a comment in the comment section below, and I'll see you in the next one. Catch ya!